Well, as we go, we can, uh, you can ask questions wherever you want to. I will also um, sometimes, will, I will ask question to you sometimes. Uh, you can use chat to answer because I, I try to make them short. And um, for, let, let me start then. Uh, let me start from mm -hmm, diagram like that. It's very, very familiar for us stuff. It's UML. And uh, you can easily read and make some sorts of that. What connected with what? How, how, it, how entities interact? Uh, what happened if you change something? Uh, what stuff would be affected, for instance, if you change um, bank entity or account entity? You may easily distinguish what 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 what's easier change, what's harder to change or to extend. So let me show next one it's a moon module as you may notice now we cannot reason about it easily however guys who design this module who know this stuff can reason about this easily so what's the difference between these two diagrams. You may just try to, to think to answer in a couple of words in the chat. Maybe it's 2D and 3D models. <laughs> <laughs> That's also might be. So let me check, check domain standard, yeah. Vocabulary, good point. That, that's the main thing, actually. To, to, I want you to feel how people not from our domain see our diagrams sometimes. But for us, they look like this. And to, to talk on the same language, to talk on the same... Uh, page we have to do something so what's important is the vocabulary it's rules how this stuff is connected and it's the borders borders mean uh, the area we are discussing about and the area that is like, mm, that cannot be changed, that is like environment or something like that, that is where the system operate. That's the main thing, actually. So these three things should be on our diagrams when we are going to use them for discussion. Again, I'm, Mm, th th this is completely valid diagram in our documentation from developers to developers it's co completely valid and necessary to have such kind of diagrams but when we want to discuss with people from different domain we should make them understandable for 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 all parties in discussion we want we need to hear them we need to um make them comfortable to speak if you to, to to be comfortable to speak you have to know that uh, i'm okay what i'm drawing is understandable and it's in style of what we uh, saw on previous diagrams like that so that's about vocabulary and rules 
we we should deliver rules how explain how this stuff is connected so the first suggestion and actually maybe only one is to find out whom we are talking with and use their vocabulary and as a software architects we talk usually with um managers with business analytics and with other software architects and if we talk only with software architects uh, th this um, presentation is not about this case but this presentation is about when we're talking about with all of them or only managers or only business analytics so let's get know somehow what is their vocabulary um, i actually i google these pictures before presentation i google just look show me pictures of managers and google show me a lot of pictures with people around the table in a formal suit uh, which are talking with each other and uh, show uh, this handshake showing like they agreed about something and when i uh, googled about business analytics there were less people on a photo or just hands or just hands and diagrams and the stuff so they are very similar and when i google about software architects or developers i saw a lot of uh, pictures man or woman behind the laptop why are explaining this because uh, pictures it's a, like a stereotypes that clearly shows us focus of each group on what they are fo focused on and now you see it more clear in a couple of minutes. So uh, managers uh, had uh, own vocabulary, like uh, what I hear on their uh, meetups and stuff. They talk about people, budget, timeline, features. You, you may write more words in a chat from a from a management vocabulary it would be a cool experience if you could add a couple more words okay let's Let's go then. Business analytics. What I heard from business analytics, they are focused on features, traceability matrix, stakeholders, and stuff, and all about that and around that. Uh, so most of talks were how to get requirements, ah, requirement. We can add requirement here. Oh, sorry. How to get requirement? How to get feature from this requirement? Explain it in story. How to trace this? How to show it to stakeholders? How to get from stakeholders? information and so on and so forth and we as software architects we focused on mostly on technical details of feature when we hear feature we we ask a lot of questions about um to to figure out uh, what, what what we can do and what we can um how we can deal with that we 
focused on code quality of quality attribute attributes is different abilities like availability, maintainability, modifiability, whatever ability. Uh, services layers, which uh, in short is a structure called the structure or um, project structure. And uh, let's then go. So we, what we hear, we saw, we saw a lot of terms from different areas. And now we will look for common ground where we can talk about this. So let's draw the scenes and in a second. So what we had from managers, we had people, we had budget, we had timeline, we had features. So, and budget affects people. As long as we have good budget, we have, we have more people and people affects timeline and features affect timeline if the complex or not complex. For managers, it looks like that, yeah? Uh, for... For, for BAs, we have, um, again, features, requirements. Let, let me show it. So I, I can show you it, like how it looks when you're ready to, to, to be faster and how it's connected. So it's a manager's stuff. It's a BA stuff. And it's our stuff. And um, to make it more clear, it's obviously that we have features con in all areas, but that I you show a bit more. These features describe actual product. So it's different view to the products. And we, you probably heard from the views and beyond that there are different, we can use different views and these views Yeah, what uh, what to focus? It's a when you describe some feature, you should keep in mind this picture and try to show all stuff that is interested for all parties, not only for software architects, not only this stuff. Here are boundaries. Uh, also, there are some connections that are not so obvious. This one, it's a Conway's law, if you remember. Also, these people and these people. It's sometimes same people, sometimes different people because team is also a stakeholder, but team has no big influence as we may think on the features. 
But when manager come to the team and tell, okay, we want this feature to look like that and team say, no, it couldn't be like that. We could make it in different way. Then we notice the team has big influence on features. So we also can make this connection. It's, um, I use this just to, to, to show you uh, how complex thing, things are uh, and where to find common places for, for discussion. And also I can suggest you like this very simple style of diagram. When we have um, only two kinds of shapes and arrows, and if you want to express more, you can um, make different view. And maybe if it's possible, make some interaction. Uh, we could do it like together if uh, audience would uh, smaller, about 10, 12 people, yeah. So, Let's get back to the presentation. So the algorithm. Algorithm is very simple. So you have to find out who are your stakeholders and actually then get their vocabulary. Uh, it's easy to get vocabulary. You may get it from emails, from conversations and etc. It's not that hard as uh, it's the same as you um, reverse engineer in some software. You will find out what what uh, what words happen more often, or um, you feel that this word is more important. So it's like a, could be kind of specific term or specific area of interest of this guy, because I divided. For this presentation, people on the managers, BAs, and um, software architects, but it could be product owner, which has own vocabulary. Sometimes manager and BA is the same person. Sometimes uh, team lead had uh, technical overview on an implementation and also some management role. So it's not like uh, I described here. It could it could change, it, and we could and should be flexible. So actually, this scheme this scheme is an example for you. But here is a, how to create any kind of this scheme and find common ground. Then and then. Uh, you have to express your current idea in uh, the same terms. If management interested in budget and timeline, then each feature, each feature could have important for this person information. How to do it? Easily, we can. Um, We can create some, we can use this diagram or create new one. Let's create new one. Uh, so we have like, um, it, it could explain any application. Yeah. And um, uh, 
obviously we can for management if if management is interested in sizes in timelines we can use just size of circle to express something and tell them that we use sizes to express that it. it's like huge part and we can then show some details inside so they can reason about it and maybe think maybe we can divide this front end part and uh, some somehow to solve it we can use colors like uh, big small medium we can use colors and express this in a legend if we want the same size sorry Sergei. maybe uh you use different um sorry sorry <laughs> we don't need to see. <laughs> oh, thank you one sec one sec <laughs> it's funny scene <laughs> and one second i'll correct it in a minute it's mm, yep now it's correct yeah yes. so so you, you can really have sizes different sizes and uh Yeah, <laughs> and and different colors and shapes, so you can, and in any way show somehow some important informations for management if they interest them in sizes, in timelines. If it's BA and it's and he is interested in traceability matrix, um, let's say let's reason about that. We can, for stakeholders, we can use like obvious picture. And they could have their areas. And they could have their areas. So, sorry. And then we can explain that this stakeholder is interested in in this part of application. Let's call him somehow better. John. And John is interested in this part of application, and it's pretty obvious. Then you have nothing to explain more. It's very visible and very easy to to think about it. So just draw them what they want to see. They sometimes don't want to see internal code organization, but if you show that this team has as much to do and this team is overloaded, they can reason about this. And and then and or if the stakeholder know everything about front end and this about this stuff so they can find this from diagram okay i have to talk with this guy if i want to change this feature and etc let's get back to algorithm do mistakes it's uh it should be before actually before draw picture or in the same time uh if you want someone to react you have to make a mistake <laughs> on a picture to to give to force them to speak up and to give a place to speak up you have to use um like common language common uh, easy easy and understandable and simple vocabulary of drawing and you have to take notes when you speaking so let me 
take talk more now about drawing picture because it's se it's second and important part. The first one was to structure your knowledge in terms of terms, uh, types of connections, rules, and boundaries. So, gosh, let me make me smaller. And I will go somewhere here. Okay. So, uh, Two of these pictures express the same thing is a network organization. But um, look at them and think uh, where are you as a non technical person could reason about more and easier? And why? More, more important. Uh, question is why it's easier to reason. Let's check second one. Here are two very similar things. So we, we and actually we can reason on both of them because left one is uh, like common language for us. But uh, it's not that easy to reason because, um, let me make it bigger. So you, you, so you may notice that area arrows go into different directions, where is start, where is end, it's hard to distinguish. But on this picture, we can easily think about the main flow is this one is um, can I have pointer is uh, like is this one. So this is main flow. And on the left side, it's actually it's two possible ways. It's, one is like from here to here and the second one is somewhere to here so it's a start and this and this end it's really hard to reason on such kind of diagrams and it's much easier when it's uh, the main flow is expressed and secondary flows, maybe this one, um, even this one, we can understand that it's also possible. We, we can't reason about this stuff actually right now. So we, we can understand from diagrams from different world what we can reason about and what we cannot reason so when, when it's not not understandable where arrow come from and let's go to this picture i think for, from my personal opinion it's a, this picture is most understandable because it actually we we can't see a real start here and real end here but we may see um, main circles like that. So most of arrows, arrows go there, one circle. And also most of arrow, arrows go there. And more, more important arrows are bigger. These are small, we can like 
it's something secondary we can think about this as a second something secondary so that's what i mean about drawing picture when you give something from real world world to people to reason if you talk about um about application structure you can use conway's law in a vice versa way so someone in office will work do something with this part of module so we can like uh show layered application like a floors and actually show office on the background to explain that uh first it comes to these guys then to this guy and then to this guy like information goes up we can show it with arrow and then express it when we're talking about it and people can reason about it if they see some nonsense like this guy cannot work with this information uh before this guy we have we have to switch them with places because keep in mind that people who you are proficient in a making software and uh you will talk with people who proficient in making money from this software and making this software as a tool for business so they know a lot about business and they see if they can use your tool or not so this will help them to tell you something without explicitly asking because it's very hard to explicitly ask about everything so the main point here is to make your schemas not complicated if you see that a lot of that a lot of flows are crossing each other is a bad stuff and actually um the, the good example is this sorry one sec is um now it shows Now you see that this schema is also not good because we have a lot of interconnections. So we can think about how to make it easier and um, to, to change. And one way to make it easier is to make it like I did. I uh, didn't draw full pictures before presentation and I draw a lot of stuff with you together so you can you could see where it comes from so that's also a trick how to make draw pictures so maybe that's it what i want to talk about the main problem was to to, to create co common vocabulary and the second main problem is to make uh, people talk and reason about these diagrams So I can just put last slide of thank you. And then if you have some questions, we can go back and forth by presentations, driving and et cetera. Yeah, guys, uh, if uh, someone has question, please unmute and ask. Looks like everything was clear. <laughs> or they're uh, just doing something else and listening yes. in the background as usual. Is this simple process of um, alcohol refinery? It might be. It also might be a petrol refinery. Let me check. Uh, I don't think. Oh, no, it's alcohol. Yeah, it's alcohol. Yeah, you probably don't need saccharification and fermentation for yeah, petrol. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay. Uh, I would like to say thank you, Sergei, for this uh, presentation. Thanks uh, all who joined. Uh, we hope this, um, this presentation was interesting and useful for you. 
Uh, guys, uh, you will receive a feedback form shortly. Please complete it. Your opinion matters for us. And of course, we will be happy to see all of you next event. So have a nice day, everyone. Take care of yourself. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thanks. Bye.